We're gonna be making some yummy recipes today using canned chicken. And I'm gonna admit, I hardly ever used canned chicken, but I was pleasantly surprised from today's recipes. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you four different recipes using canned chicken. Of course, all of these recipes, you could use a rotisserie chicken, or you can just cook your own chicken and shred it or cube it or however. I know a lot of people keep canned chicken in their pantry, so I just thought I would show you some new creative ways to use it. We are starting out today using some canned chicken for a dill pickle chicken salad. I picked up these croissant sandwich buns at Sam's. They're so good and they're perfect for chicken salad. I recently went to a chicken salad chick and that's how they serve theirs on a croissant. Y'all, it's just, it's next level. So that's what we're doing today. To get started, I'm going to dice just a little bit of this onion. Ideally, I would have red onion, but my red onion had gone bad and that's my bad on that. I'm not gonna use quite as much because regular onion tends to be a little bit stronger as I'm sure you're very well aware. And then I also need about a fourth a cup of chopped dill pickles. I had these hamburger chips on hand. You can use whatever, the baby holes, the slices, however you wanna do it. You're just gonna chop these up. So let's chop this up and then we'll also need just a little bit of the dill pickle juice to go in there too. So we just need about a tablespoon of the dill pickle juice, not a lot at all. Now we just need to drain this can of chicken. And we're just gonna combine everything here in this glass container. First, I'm gonna add in our chicken and I am going to just kind of reach in here and shred it up just a little bit more. Now we're gonna add in our dill pickles and our onion, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, our tablespoon of pickle juice. And then I always eyeball it when it comes to the mayonnaise. You can do about a fourth a cup to a half a cup just depending on your preference on how creamy you want it. It doesn't get much easier than that. Now you can use this on sandwiches for several days during the week. Let's give this a taste test and see what we think. That is really good. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for about an hour just so it can chill and it'll be ready for sandwiches later. Today, to use my canned chicken, I'm gonna be making a very quick and easy lunch. This is called seven can chicken tortilla soup. Y'all, it can't get any simpler than this. Let me show you. The recipe calls for chicken broth. I thought I had chicken broth. I didn't, so we're just gonna go with what we have. We're gonna use beef broth today. I looked over and I was like, what is that stain on my lampshade here? Yeah, that's a moth, so hold please. I'll be right back. The hardest part of this recipe, opening all the cans. That's as hard as it gets, y'all. Okay, let's do this. So I've got a can of chicken breast here. I did drain it really well. I'm adding it in first so I can kind of break it up a little bit. And of course, all of these recipes, you can just use freshly cooked chicken. That's totally fine. I'm just showing you how to use canned chicken if you were in a pinch. Next, I've got a can of pinto beans that I drained and rinsed, a can of sweet corn that I drained, a can of black beans drained and rinsed, a can of diced tomatoes. It's said to drain it, but I'm not gonna drain this one. This is the petite diced, that's just personal preference. Now the recipe calls for half of this size of a can of green enchilada sauce, but my store only had the large one, so I'll just use half of this. And then this is where you would use a can of chicken broth, but we're gonna go with a little bit of beef broth. About 14 ounces. And lastly, taco seasoning. I make my own. I've got that recipe somewhere. I'll link that below. We're just gonna stir this up and put it on the stove and just let it simmer for 15 or 20 minutes. It doesn't get any easier than that. Okay, it's been like 15 minutes. This has been simmering here on the stove. I turned it down to low once I got it up to temperature. I've got several toppings to put on top. Let's eat some lunch. Okay, it's just me doing the taste test. The other two are busy. I've got my bowl here, it's hot. So I'm gonna put it in my little, I don't, what is this called? Like little trivet, little caddy, I don't, I don't know. You can use it in the microwave. Keeps you from burning yourself also. If you have one of these and you have a bowl of ice cream and it's super cold, put it in this too, it helps. I am gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on mine too, just because that's what I like. I am pleasantly surprised. Great flavor to that. I like the addition of the cilantro on top, but the chicken is perfectly shredded in here. That green enchilada sauce is what makes it, I'm pretty sure. You cannot tell that this was basically dumping cans in a pot and heating it up for 15 minutes. You can't tell. 
So do yourself a favor and make this for you and your family. They're gonna think you stood at the stove for hours making this for them, but it only took you like 15 minutes. This next recipe is a really quick and easy lunch or dinner idea. We're gonna have it for lunch today. I'm cutting the original recipe in half. If you're ever looking for recipes, check my description box. Beside the timestamp of each recipe, I have a link to my website, mandyinthemaking.com, and all of the recipes that I have made today in the video are all linked there. What we're making right now is called Easy Chicken Sandwich Melts. It sounds really good and very easy. It takes about 15 minutes to make, so let's get started. To get started, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350. For this recipe today, since I'm only doing half, I'm just going to be using, ma'am, I'm just going to be using one can of chicken breast. I do need to drain it. To my bowl, I'm gonna add our can of chicken. I do need to break it up a little bit with a fork. You don't wanna completely shred it, but just any of the really large pieces kinda of break that down a little bit. We're gonna add in a little bit of mayo, probably about a fourth a cup, maybe a little more than fourth a cup, and a few seasonings, some paprika, a little bit of black pepper. The recipe says to add in some salt, but I feel like canned chicken already has plenty of salt in it. We're gonna forego adding extra salt. And lastly, just a little bit of garlic powder. Let's stir all of that up. I've got a tomato here. I am gonna dice it. We're only gonna use about half of the tomato. At this point, you could add some chopped cilantro. I'm gonna forego that because I want Cole to be able to like this. <laughs> He's not a huge fan of that. That's my son if you're new here. But we also just need a little bit of shredded mild cheddar cheese. This is not quite half of that block. Let's stir all of that to combine. And you could be done at this point if you want it to be, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna add just a little bit of sriracha sauce. This is purely to taste, so you can leave it out or add a little bit as you please. Now let's go over to our French bread. I said let's go over to our French bread, but I just brought it back over here. But you just wanna cut this up, slice it. I'll make some garlic bread with that later. Let's lay this out on a baking sheet. Okay, so now you're just gonna put your spread on top of each piece that you have here. I'm using French bread. You can use whatever loaf, like sturdy loaf bread that you have. Okay, I have a little bit left, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice two more slices. Okay, that was the perfect amount. So this made just a little more than half of a loaf of French bread. These are going in at 350 for eight minutes. There we go, eight minutes. I normally use my timer here, but do you notice she has deceased? We have a new one on order, it's okay. I saved some just for you, are you happy? Was he good? Hmm, it's time to give these a shot. You could definitely put some more fresh tomato on top or some cilantro. We're just gonna go as is. Cheers. <laughs> that is delicious but I wanted mine to have just a little more spice, so more sriracha for sure. I love the crunch of the crust of the French bread. I love how cheesy and like stringy that cheese is. Um, the diced tomatoes warmed through are really great. Next time I would use smoked paprika, I think just to give it a little more of a smoky flavor, just personal preference. But these are a great lunch or dinner, or even like for a brunch or something, for some little appetizer type thing because each individual one, it's not that much. So this is good, you should try it. This next recipe I'm making is a very simple one. Again, it is a pizza using canned chicken. Tonight I am making a barbecue chicken pizza. It's gonna take just a few minutes to assemble because we're using canned chicken and get it in the oven. Lou, you're very aggressive lately about the cheese, honey. I haven't even opened it yet. To get started, let's preheat the oven to 450. Okay, the original recipe for this calls for one chicken breast cooked. So that should be the amount in this one can. I did drain it. Let's just break it up a little bit. So we're gonna season with a little bit of smoked paprika. I'm just eyeballing this until it feels right, as my Nana would say. A little bit of garlic powder. Again, this recipe calls for salt and pepper but we're just gonna go with pepper since this canned chicken already has some sodium added. Let's stir all of that up, get it good and coated. 
And then you're gonna go in with your favorite barbecue sauce. We have really grown to love this one. This is the Sweet and Spicy by Sweet Baby Ray's. You're gonna add in about a fourth a cup. There's gonna be more barbecue sauce on the pizza as the base, so don't worry about that. That's as difficult as it gets. Let's go prepare our pizza crust. Just because I'm taking the easy way out, I just went ahead and got one of these Pillsbury pizza crusts. I've got, this is my stone from Pampered Chef. Now we're just gonna spread some barbecue sauce across here, about a half a cup. You don't want to overdo it, but you wanna have it a little saucy. I don't know why I'm going in circles. I'm making it pretty. I'm just gonna take this basting brush and just kinda spread this out a little bit. I have shredded some Monterey Jack cheese. I did about half of that block. Gracie Lou, do you even like Monterey Jack cheese, honey? She said, I don't know, let me try. Here, you want some? Good gracious, honey, there. Do you like it? And she does, of course she does. Next, let's add our barbecue chicken. I'm gonna try and spread it out pretty evenly. Now that we've got our cheese and our chicken on top of there, we're gonna add some sliced red onion. Of course, this is optional. The recipe calls for sliced jalapenos. I have some jalapenos, but I'm saving them for another recipe. And I had some extra poblano peppers on hand, so we're using the poblano today. And if you don't know, poblano is not quite as spicy as jalapeno. So if you don't love hot, this would probably be a good option for you too. That's it, y'all. This is going in a 450 degree oven for eight to 10 minutes. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. You just got me for the taste test. Steven is on a call, unexpectedly. He's not feeling his greatest either. He's got a little bit of a headache. Cole is leaving, so it's just me. Me and the pizza. Let's give this thing a try. That's good. That's really good. But you know what? This is very controversial. And I usually don't go controversial here on my channel. But we about to. Hold on. You know what would make it even better? Pineapple. I said what I said. Yes, pineapple belongs on pizza. You ask my husband, he says no it does not. I love it. And I think pineapple on this would be so good because it would have that sweet along with all the savory. I think your whole family would love this, pineapple or no pineapple, but let's chat about it in the comments. Do you keep canned chicken on hand? What do you use it for? Do you use it for anything and everything? Do you use it just for chicken salad, which is kind of what I've always done? If you are enjoying this type of content on my channel, I've been doing several different videos like this recently. So I had a rice video, which is a pantry staple. I had a potatoes video, and now this one. So let me know below what type of video you would like to see me do next. Another pantry staple, something that you always have in your pantry and you're looking for new creative ways to use it. Give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying this type of series on my channel. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and hit that red subscribe button before you go. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.